what we were doing 10 years or even five years ago may not be relevant these days because as we discover new information, we change our practice. So the research I think was very important because obviously we don't want a young woman, no medical problems, to come to have a baby and lose their life because of that. And we found that a lot of women were dying during or after cesarean section. I mean, how can we improve the safety of the cesarean section because it is by far the commonest operation being performed in South Africa at the moment. So, so the Western Cape was using a, a surgical safety checklist, a WHO surgical safety checklist that was specifically adapted for maternity care. And we said, okay, let's try using it in KZN, but let's do a randomized controlled trial. Do you currently have any equipment issues or concerns? And in the well-implementing groups, we found that there was also statistically significant improvements in total deaths, as well as bleeding associated with cesarean section. I'm quite passionate about it because you actually audit these deaths every month and it's sometimes heartbreaking to see that these deaths could have been prevented. Now when it comes to maternal surgical safety, you know there's, there's been no study published. So in a sense this was the first study that was ever done on maternal surgery in the world. In a sense, it would be pioneering, pioneering for me because I did this study as part of my PhD and so at a PhD, obviously, you have to discover new, new knowledge and, and I think that discovery did occur.